Simon Lazat. I'm a sellout. There's three keys to disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport. Oh, it's got some beef on it. So if you've seen my other videos with Simon, you know that we are on good terms now. I apologize, we threw it all under the rug. And so I figured why not give his newest signature disc, the old nine hole college try. You know, good layup. Dude, there's a disc on this basket. It's a DX Leopard. Guys, if you watched my last video, you know that the <laughs> Archangel is the number one most found disc on disc golf courses. Well, I just found a DX Leopard, and that happens to be number two. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by the beast. We're gonna test it on a super hyzer flip up forehand up this little gap right here. Guys, so far, this Lozado is absolute trash. Not gonna cap. Skip in. Oh, that actually might. Oh, so unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know what the Simon Lazat Lazada is. It's the MVP, or is it Axiom? I don't know. It's the MVP. Hex. It's supposed to be, you know, the match to that MD1. For me, maybe like that Buzz SS style Frisbee. Just your do everything mid range. So when I had the opportunity to acquire one of them, I knew I had to give it a try. Wow. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. Bear crawled it. Mother now guys, I promise this will complete my Simon Lazat trilogy. I'll stop using his name for views. Profile of this Frisbee is a little wonky. It's not really like your average, you know, mid-range. It's got a little wing on it, I guess. Lip. I don't know, a little lip, but the plastic feels amazing. Bro, it's so much more stable than I think it's gonna be. I throw really hard and really far, so if it doesn't flip up for me, it ain't flipping up for you. Guys, I'm actually way closer than I thought that was. All right, Simon, this birdie's for you. Oh. Dude, bird, dude, the basket like shook on that one. Look at that. It's Cause you gotta fucking jam them in. So this is basically the best ace run hole for those Zotto. We're gonna really put some respect on it, give it a go. Gotta respect it. Jump in. Oh, and he takes, oh. Maybe Simon knew what he was doing. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, Simon, might have to put some respect on this disc. I was kind of cracked. Oh. Oh, come on. You know, guys, I honestly thought that last shot was gonna be perfect. I guess this disc just isn't really that good. But what better way to redeem this disc than use its counterpart, the glitch, for a throw in. I was gonna ace a hole out here with the Lozado, I think. I think it's this one. So far, this thing's kind of trash, but we'll see. Oh my God, dude, it's so good. Get in. What the fuck, bro? This thing is so good. <laughs> Guys, I think it's safe to say, Simon knew exactly what he was doing when he decided to make this his signature disc. Oh, don't go in the swamp. Guys. And it's good for putting. So guys, a huge thing for me when I'm reviewing a Frisbee, you know, checking one out, seeing if I want to put it into my bag, is can I throw it backhand and forehand? So on this hole, usually I'm throwing like a Firebird. So we're gonna see if we can do it with the Lozado. Little finesse flip up. Oh my God, dude. That was a pretty nice flyer, Dude, that though. thing fucking sucks. It oh, literally yeah, turned horrible. over. Terrible. literally has no torque resistance. Yeah, that thing flipped right out of your hand. You see, my forehand form is what most people would call perfect. So when I throw a disc and it flutters and turns over, what that means is that they didn't design it very well. Torque resistance, I think, is one of the most important things when it comes to designing a Frisbee. <laughs> and the Lozado just doesn't seem to have it. Let's see if my putting can make up for a bad designed Frisbee. Oh, trash. See, this is what happens when you don't have good Frisbees in the bag. Then you have to make up with long putts and then you got long comebackers. But it doesn't matter. Good thing I'm absolutely cracked. I just don't know about this thing, guys. We'll see on the next hole, I guess. Now, this is basically the only hole at Seven Oaks you actually have to throw far on, I guess. Simon Lazad is obviously known as one of the furthest throwers in the world, right behind like David Wiggins, Garrett Gerthy, me. I was gonna say, Broderick Thompson. <laughs> you get the point. Bro, that thing would have gone so far if there wasn't trees there. That thing is nuts, so much glide. Bro, it's so good. So I'm sure you guys have seen Simon Lazat's new show on Jomez. God, if this fucking thing could stop flying over top. So I'm sure you guys have seen Simon Lazat's new show on Jomez. You know, he's out in nature, enjoying what the world really has to offer. And the cool thing about throwing into the woods is you kind of get to live the same style of life that he does. 
Oh, that's crack. What do you guys think about Simon's new show on Jomez? I think it's pretty sweet. I love any time that disc golf companies actually put out high quality product and you know, something a little different than, than the normal shitty old disc golf content that's out there nowadays. I'm a big fan. Let me know what you think. I don't even know. So obviously Simon Lazat used to throw the MD1 and that's kind of like your do anything type mid range. I throw the Buzz SS, which I would say is very comparable. I've aced this hole right behind me two times with the Buzz SS. So I think the real test for the Lazadal is if I can get an ace with it. Here, take this. Oh my God, dude, this thing suck. This thing's fucking trash. It's horrible. I'll show you guys, I'll throw a Buzz SS. Dude, that thing is just not good. This is how it should look. The exact same. Buzz SS's are trash. We're gonna cut that. God, if this goes in. Bro, how did that not go in? I was just gonna wear it if it hit if it hit me. A little behind the scenes thoughts on what it's like to make a video, guys. I thought that was going in. I completely thought I made it. And I, in my head, I was like, wow, I just got absolutely cracked for this video. People are gonna love it. They're gonna go crazy. Simon Lozado's Lozado's are gonna sell out. It was just a little off. Disc golf is a game of inches, guys. You never really know what you're gonna get. A throw can feel perfect. A putt can feel perfect. You think it's in all the way and sometimes it's just not. You know, the margin of error is just so small. Tiny. And when it comes to Frisbees, like, you know, a little bit of, little bit of angle either way, you just, you don't necessarily know what you're gonna get. I like to call disc golf the perfectly imperfect game because you wanna be perfect so bad, but the reality is you're never gonna be. And maybe if you're Simon Lazat and some people view you as perfect, you're still not. And you're usually never happy with your round and after the round you're gonna say, oh, I played like shit. Yeah, that was Disgolfians, uh, 1738. I'm like, hey, what's up, get in the basket. Let's go. I hey, think I'm absolutely cracked at putting. Let's go. All right, guys, beautiful turnover line. Oh my God, get in the hole. <laughs> that is one of the best mid ranges that's literally ever been. I think made. it is the best mid range. Dude, that thing is so good. This thing's cracked. <laughs> it literally holds like any, put the Simon Lozado Lozado on a line and it's it's gonna hold it. What What's a buzz? Fuck buzzes. Get out of my bag. Could have had a better result. God, dude, I do not baby. miss. Not a baby. Get at me. Not a baby. Give me E55 Sunny, no wind. We're getting absolutely cracked. Bogey bros, get at us. Oh, throw it down. Shots fired. I'm gonna try and get a saucy little, just like, ah. This thing's fucking trash. Jump. Guys. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you, too. you know, guys, I still just don't know how I feel about this thing. We got one more hole. <laughs> <laughs> the Lozado literally just saved my life. We can get the Lozado here. I won't throw it in the garbage after the round. I said throw her high and let her fly. And that's what she did. Well guys, based on that throw, these things go really, really far. If you're looking for like a far flying mid range, you know, kind of something to bridge the gap between your normal, not far flying mid ranges from most of the other companies and your fairway driver, definitely check one of these things out. They go so far, so much glide, very torque resistant. We got about a 40 footer to end. Bang. Oh, oh are you kidding me? Oh. What? Well guys, I hope you, oh, fuck. I hope you enjoyed the third and final chapter of the Simon Lazat trilogy series. Simon Lazat Lazato. Now it's actually pretty good. A lot more stable than I thought it was gonna be. Pretty solid on the forehand. Really good on the backhand. It's a good Frisbee. I see why Simon likes it. Shout out Simon Lazat. He's actually like one of my favorite players. So if you guys are idiots and you don't pick up on humor, then I guess it's your loss and would not be mine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll stop clickbaiting you with Simon Lazat in the title. We'll see you in the next one. Bang, bang. Something in the orange tells me we're not